YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Leron Potent Ponder, and I'm back with another video. Please come in, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. So listen, I'm doing the story time, right? So this story time is about me having to press my coworker, to my ex-coworker, to get my $75 back. So listen, let me just start this story off by giving you a backstory so you understand where I'm coming from. This year, I got a promotion to this new role, right? So I got a promotion to a new role and, you know, pretty much my, I would say the manager over the department that I was in, uh, she, she, you know, she was really good. We had some great talks and like, we spent a lot of time together. You know, she trained me up to do what I do. And um, honestly, uh, she was a really nice person, right? So she ended up telling me that, you know, she does, she she's an art girl and she does art on the side. And, you know, she makes all these different paintings. And, you know, she creates a lot of different things. If you're an artsy type of person, you already know, like she creates, she can create something just pretty much out of anything. You could give her, um, you know how they use those sacks for potatoes or those sacks for oranges. She would take that and turn it into something fancy that you could use for a bag or she just takes, she can, you know what I mean? Like a person who, who does art and who's into the arts and stuff like that. They see things and objects that we don't normally, we look at it as like, oh, it's something that we use and we throw it away. We're done with it. Right. She's an amazing person. But what happened was, is that, you know, she had her little issues with the company or whatever. And she ended up putting her two weeks notice in. So I started in October. She left in April. So November, December, January, February, March, April. So she stayed for about six months after I, um, you know, after I was there or whatever. Right. So she leaves the company and me being the person that I am, I'm like, damn, she's an artist. You know, I have my channel. You see behind me is blank. Right. So I was like, I wanted to get I bought a huge canvas, like a 48 by 60 to cover up everything that you see behind me. I wanted it um, done in like Aquarius colors, which is like the, the pretty purples, the blues with maybe some white on it. Like just, I wanted it done right. I wanted it to look really nice behind me, right? And what I did first is I said, I'm gonna get all of the supplies. And thank God I went to Michael's. I got a really good deal. Was it from Michael's or was it from, or did I go to Michael's or was it Hobby Lobby? It might have been Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby had an amazing sale on the acrylic paint. I got like top notch paint. It was I got a really good deal on all of the things that I needed. Right. Um, I spent, to be honest with you, I spent about eighty dollars and I and I was just like seventy five dollars. I spent about eighty dollars like with tax, but I didn't want to go OD like that, even though I did pay for that. And she has all of those supplies. So she left at the job on April 12th. On, you know, that week before she left, I told her I want something painted for my YouTube channel. I have, you know, and she doesn't know my channel or anything. Her name is Isabel. There's so many different Isabels in the world. You don't know where I work at and you don't know her. So I can say her name. She don't know that I got a channel. And, you know, this is a reason why I don't be giving my coworkers my channels or nothing like that. My Facebook page is very blank. You can't see my friends. You you know, when you go there, if you see a globe and something popular. I, I am, I'm aware of that and I do that, you know, for certain things. But all of my stuff is tucked in. So Isabel was leaving and she was this amazing artist. I art artist. I seen a lot of her stuff. She even gave me some of her art before she left. And I'm just like, I want to support you. I said, I want a huge mural. You know, I'm going to buy a 48 by 60 so it can go and cover my whole background on YouTube. And I want it to be spilled with the paint of like the colors of Aquarius, right? Very simple. She left on April 12th, right? What, what date is it now? May 25th. We're coming up on two months now. And I've been so nice and so lenient. So let me tell you what happened. So just to give you a, a little rundown. So, and I'm trying to be in the mix and trying to communicate with her, you know, because I know that she left and I'm just trying to like, just, just to communicate, right? She left on April 12th. I text her on April 17th. Didn't mention anything about the canvas, anything about the progress or anything. I, I contacted her and text her. I said, hey, I hope you're doing, I hope you're enjoying your new beginnings. And hopefully you'll hear from the CPS because she wanted to work for CPS in Houston, right? Um, I hope that you hear from the CPS job if you haven't already. She never responded to the message, right? Mind you, my that was April 17th. The next message I sent to her was on May 3rd. April 17th, I sent her a message wishing her well off the job. We had an amazing conversation before she left. You know, 
I didn't hear anything from the April 17th message. On May 3rd, I reached out to her, right? And I'm not even going to get personal into what she's dealing with in her own personal life. I'm not going to go deep into that at all. But I know that she's going through some things. And it's so sad that she's a young lady and dealing with a person who would even, uh, it's, it's just messed up. So anyway, this ain't about that. So on Friday, May 3rd, I reached out, right? I said, hey, Isabel, I wanted to check in to see if you would still be able to complete the canvas. I know you're probably task saturated with your new job. I haven't heard anything back from you. Just wanted to check in. I hope all is well. So she sends me a message back. What time did I send her that message on, on um, May 3rd? I sent that, that message at 1017. She responded at 1052. Hey, thank you for being so patient for me. This new job has definitely been keeping me ultra busy, but overall things are going well and I'm grateful. I will be working on your canvas on Saturday. That was on May 3rd. We are on the 25th. I just got my money back. Well, actually yesterday, the 24th. Today is the 25th. I'm, I'm making this video. It's 1 102 AM, but today is the day that I'm making the video. So she told me on May 3rd, that was going into that weekend. This week was even the second week of that I spoke to her since that date. No update or anything. And so, so she said, I will be working on your canvas on Saturday. So that would have been the 4th, right? 14 days from 14 days from the 4th would be 15, 16, 17. That's still 18. That's the 18. We on the 25th. I've been more than kind. I've been more than kind. How are things at, at the job? I'd be open to meeting up for coffee or beer after work, maybe Tuesday or Thursday to catch up. I say, yes, I can imagine you're trying to get acclimated to your new role. I completely get it. Yes, I am open to Tuesday or Thursday, Thursday next week. Things have been going well. I only have been, um, you know, I've been handling the, the, the disability claims. I'm supposed to, uh, you know, learn a new process that I was talking about. I told her, I said, um, I'm happy that things are going well, well for you and you're finding happiness. That was on May 3rd, right? So we were supposed to meet up the following week to go get tea, coffee, or beer, which had been a follow on the week within the week of the 10th, right? I never heard from her again. I messaged her today because I'm just tired at this point. And you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Through this channel, you know, I'm going to I'm going to send this video out just so that it doesn't like aggravate my algorithm to, um, you know, I'm not going to send it to my subscribers. If you find this video, you just find it because you enjoy story times or you just check my page like that. I'm not going to promote this video or anything because I want to do different content on my channel and I just want it to grow if it's going to grow. If it doesn't grow, then, you know, whatever. But what I wanted to say was, is that um I really wanted to give her a chance and I really wanted to support her because me as a local business owner as well, y'all know if y'all know me, like I have a cookie business, right? I don't push it that much on, on YouTube anymore, but I have a cookie business. I know what it's like to want people to support your business and everything like that, right? And I didn't hear anything from her. That was the week of the 10th that we were supposed to go out. We're in the week of the 25th now. Today, I'm doing this video. So today, let me just lighten my screen up a little bit more. I said, Isabel. I am just writing this whole thing off with the canvas. We are going on nearly two months and I still have not been in the receipt of any real update. I just wish that you would have told me no. I truly believe you have no interest on even supplying something that I partially paid $75 for. Um, that I No, 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 no. Let me go back. I said, I truly believe that you have no interest in even supplying something that I've already partially paid for. $75 in groceries will be lovely right now in my pocket, yet I wasted it on good faith that I was going to be, to put it towards something that I would love. I am not interested in receiving the project product anymore and would just like my money back. If you're not going to return the funds, that's honestly expected as communication has been very poor. I'm very disappointed just based over how you portrayed yourself. And this was a learning experience. This was a learning experience and lesson for me truly. Take care, right? Then something inside of me said, get your money back, right? You're not just going to write this off. You gave her all of that paint. I gave her huge, huge bottles of premium acrylic paint, all different types of blues, cobalt blue, all different, different shades of purple, because you know Aquarius. 
I wanted it to be beautiful. I wanted it to, I wanted when I opened up my channel and you look, you don't see some just regular, you know, off white wall. And I'm thinking about getting my whole apartment repainted over now. Um, I'm trying to price that now. I've only been here for like two years, but I want to get it painted because I want a brighter white, right? So, um, you know, I tried to support her. So then I was going to let it go, right? Because, you know, I get a lot of support through my channel. People cash at me randomly 50, 25, $75 at times. So I'm very grateful, but it's the principle. That $75 wasn't going to make me or break me. It was the fact that I gave you a huge 44. You look it up to see what a 48 by 60 canvas look like. It's huge. That thing couldn't even fit in my car. I had to order an Uber XL so that they had a big they had a big um trunk that I put it in, take the Uber XL to my house, pay for that, come back and get my car and drive it home. It's a lot that went into this, right? She drives like a she she drives um a van or whatever, and she was able to put it into her. That's why I even, you know, I talked it out. I didn't just get this, not you know, thinking that it wouldn't fit in her car. I got all of this paint. I've spent top dollar and thank God the canvas and everything was on sale. But it's the fact that I paid $75. It is May 24th. We were going on almost two months. This would have easily spilt into the month of June. And I still don't have a product that I spent nearly $80 on just the supplies for. That's not right. So she responded back to me. So I sent that message at 910. She was she and I put a, I sent a request in for seventy five dollars, maybe like 20 minutes after that, because I tried to send a request on Cash App and she um, for some reason she doesn't accept Cash App uh, request. So she responded back. Hey, Laron, thank you for following up. Your feelings are 100 percent valid and I hate to put you in this situation. I won't offer any excuses as it's not acceptable at all. I don't expect your forgiveness going forward. Processing the request for this for supply funds now. And she sent me back the $75. And I only said, thank you. That's it. I only said, thank you. My thing is, you know what my issue was? Trying to support people because I see like, you know, small business owners and I know the support that we want, right? You didn't have to do me like that. I wish that when I asked her to perform this task and to make me a beautiful mural or whatever, just you should have just said no, right? Or say, for example, you got the huge mirror and you're not used to doing huge um, canvases like that and you messed up. You're going to have to you, listen. I bought a lot of paint that to be honest with you, I bought so much paint that she was able to she would be able to use that paint for another project, too. So run me my money. Run me my money. Like, come on. You let me know in the comments. What do you think about this? Do you think that my disposition was wrong? I gave her ample time. It was April 12th was her last day there. I messaged her on the 17th just to wish her well, not bringing up the project, pr the product at all, not bringing up her process or not bringing up a, a, a status update. I didn't ask for any of that. I just reached out to her. We're on May 24th, still no update. I waited until when, when did I contact her? On May 3rd? May 3rd. On May 3rd, she said that she was going to work it on work on it on the weekend of the 4th. I'm thinking when she's talking about going for coffee during the week of the 10th, that that's when I would meet up and I would get my mural from her. And I probably have to order an Uber XL and, you know, get home or whatever the case may be. That never happened. So that whole week passed, the week after that passed. And I'm just fed up at this point. I am fed up. So listen, this is your boy, Laurent Potent Pondering. Get in the comments. Let me know what you thought about the way that I handled this situation. You know, I'm always open open um, for uh, corrective criticism or whatever, right? Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, do you think that I should have just let it go and let her keep all of the supplies? I spent $75 on that. Do you understand every time I step in the grocery store and I eat highly perishable foods, sometimes I go to the grocery store two, two times, three times a week. Between every time I go, depending on the type of foods that I get, I'm spending between $40 to $60 each and every time. No, you just can't keep the $75. I'm saying that, but I'm open to what you think about this whole ordeal. Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Listen, subscribe to this channel. Thumbs up the video. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. This is your boy, Laron, potent pondering, never pandering, and I'm up out of here. Peace.